Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spencerville High School, where tonight the homestanding Bearcats welcome in the Elida Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Dar Nevergall and our entire WSN crew. And Dar, if you like defense, last year's game was was a hard knocking oh. game. Seven nothing won by the Bulldogs. Yeah, it certainly was. And I kind of expect a little bit of that tonight, too. But, uh, you know, you look at Spencerville, they're going to a different offense, so we'll see what happens. And you're also looking at Elida with a three year start earner out there at quarterback. So it could get a little explosive real quick. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the key for both teams tonight. Let's start with the visitors, the Bulldogs from Elida High School. Well, Elida, the biggest thing they want to do is control that line of scrimmage. And that's going to be key for them with this Spencerfield you know, line up front. If they can control the line of scrimmage, they're going to do well tonight. The other thing, too, is you want to win the battle of the explosives. I talked about that a little bit. You know, you got to stop the big plays, and you got to have a few of those big plays yourself. And the last thing for them is to win special teams. And I, I know a lot of coaches say that, but it really is important in a game like this, especially in your first game of the season. And Chris Summers starting in his ninth year at the helm for the Bearcat program, changing up the offense a little bit. Let's talk about the keys for their victory tonight. Well, you're looking at a team here that, you know, Chris says, you know, we got to get in the flow of the game really quickly. You know, we got to get taken into charge. We got to get into it. We got to, you know, follow it up with that. And the second thing you want to do is good tackling. Now, I again, coaches say that all the time, get out there and get you good tackling. But looking at your first game of the season, you want to make sure you do that out there. You can't let this elided team get those big explosive plays. And the last thing he says is play hard for four quarters and have fun. And that, to me, is the biggest key out there of any of them all is just have fun. You're out there, you're high school kids. Let's go out there and, and beat each other up. <laughs> Absolutely, mm. partner. It's week one of the high school football state in the state of Ohio. It's Spectral. It's Elida right here on WOSN. Hello and welcome back, everyone, to Spencerville High School. Danny Holbrook, Dar, and Evergall for WOSN's Week 1, Dar, high school football oh, in the state of Ohio. If this doesn't get your juices flowing, I, I don't know what does. I'll tell you what, a beautiful night. Too, oh, my dude. goodness. It looks a little, couple of dark <laughs> clouds out there, but nothing serious. But it's warm down there on that field. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be a warm night all night long. Yeah, you take a look at that turf, and this is just a beautiful facility. Oh, yeah, they it do it first class out here at Spencerville High School. And uh, look, everybody's uniform is clean and fresh right now. You know? Yeah, that will last. <laughs> long but i want to give kudos to the band too that was a great rendition oh, of the goodness. national anthem you yeah. know for the first game of the season it didn't sound like they missed a beat absolutely so elida wins the toss they'll receive the ball first take a look and back deep for the bulldogs amari walsh the five nine freshman uh, also back deep is uh let's see here number number nine i don't have a number nine on my roster dar do you have a number nine i've got eight ten eleven uh no <laughs> maybe maybe uh it looks oh number three it looks like six and three. All right, there we go. So that's David Etscorn, the five eleven junior, one hundred eighty pound wide receiver. So uh, we'll get this one underway. Then week one is underway. The Bulldogs will take possession of the ball, they'll bring it up the middle of the field. Get a nice block and a oh, nice return. Nice, nice job there, cutting right between two defenders. Absolutely, a nice return to the 35-yard line. That's where the Bulldogs will take uh, possession here at week one. So Bulldogs come out, and they will be led by Larkin Henderson, the 5'10", 175-pound senior, a three-year starter. How important is that, Dar, in a big game like this? Well, it is. It's very important, especially when you're coming out in your first game like this. Is You know, you got to have good leadership under the ball. And you're looking at Larkin coming out here, and, and he can move the ball around. He can run right. the ball. He can throw the ball. He can do a lot of things back here. So Spencerville is really going to have to be key on him. So Henderson, the 5'10 senior, he'll take command of this offense. He's in the shotgun. They've got two to the left, one to the right. they got a man in motion. They'll bring the ball over. Right up to the left side. He's got some oh, room. He's at out, the 50, to the 40, to the 30. Here come the Bulldogs. All the way to the 15-yard line, number 12 on the carry. Oh, that's Brady Kirk, number Brady 22. Brady Kirk, number 22. Yeah, listed as a fullback. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, I, you don't see fullbacks well, anymore, but he certainly didn't look like a fullback take, on that. Take a look at this play right here. Boy, he just split right through there. Once he got out there, he shows a little bit of speed down that sideline, too. Our replay sponsor tonight is Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Charles River, our sponsor of the instant replay. So here come the Bulldogs right back again. Here comes Henderson. He'll take it himself. Doesn't get much. Gets back up to about the line of scrimmage, and that'll set up a second down. So great first opening drive here for the Bulldogs. They've got the Bearcats on their heels a little bit, Dar. 
Well, and that was a good play right there, really, because let's just kind of soften up the interior well, line for the, the for Spencerville. Try to keep them, uh, you know, thinking what what's coming next for this guy, this Elida team. Darren, now I know we're we're just beginning this game, but how much is uh, the heat going to affect these kids tonight on that turf? Well, depth's going to be a big thing for sure. them, you know, and and you can all expect injuries, cramping, that kind of thing as well with this heat. You know, you've got to stay hydrated out there on the sideline for sure. Yeah, so we're going to take a timeout here. The uh, Bulldogs call a timeout, and we'll take a timeout here. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Back here at Spencerville High School where the Elida Bulldogs trying to put some points on the board first. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Webb Insurance, serving Lima and Allen County for over 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Webb Insurance is our scoreboard sponsor. So we're going to get a see, maybe, maybe get to see the uh, scoreboard lit up here real early. Oh, well, you might. And, and, and like I said, that last play by, you know, just trying to soften it up a little bit. I can see uh, Elida going to the outside again on this one here. They haven't attempted to pass. So they haven't had to. So let's see what they do. If they get Kurt, who's Shown already, he's got some speed. Absolutely. If he can get to the outside, if he can break between two, then it's so there. Here comes Henderson. He hands the ball off. They're trying to go around left side. Nice pursuit by the Bearcats. That was number three for the dogs. David Edscorn, you've already seen him tonight on the kickoff return. He gets about back to the line of scrimmage, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a key play for Spencer. Their defense has established themselves early on, too. Good pursuit down the line. Nice job there, but uh, nice tackle. That's what they need. Yeah, you Look saw like, the tackle. Looked like number 75. 75 maybe? for the Bearcats. That's Trevor Whitney. Yeah, Trevor Whitney did a nice job of staying home there on the uh, sweep. He's only so, a sophomore, 6'3", 305 pounds, and boy, he got down the line yes, really fast. Here comes Henderson. He's in the gun. He's got trips to the right. He rolls the back to the right side. He throws it deep into the end zone. He's got a man oh, wide wow. open. Are you kidding me? That's a touchdown. Jackson Kovalt, the six-foot junior, gets the first touchdown of the year for the Bulldogs. Obviously a breakdown <laughs> on the defensive backs. I think even one of them thought he had it, and the safety thought the other one had it. Look, uh, th this is a fantastic pass, and I know he was wide open, but, boy, it just shows you Larkin Henderson, his ability to put a touch on the ball, and he's got a strong arm. He does. You know, and where he was positioned, and you could have easily overthrown him there in the end zone, but it was right on the money. Now you got to feel happy if you're the Bulldogs driving the ball down like that. But, boy, Chris Summers has got some answers, some you know questions to answer. So we'll see what it is. Here's the point after try. It's up, and it is good. So we take a look at the scoreboard after five minutes of play. The Bulldogs from Elida lead 7 0. We're watching high school football right here on WOSN. We're back here at Spencerville High School where the Elida Bulldogs have struck first and quick. They lead 7 to nothing. Our instant replay sponsor tonight is Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical resource facility in northwest Ohio. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Wow, that, that was quick, Dar. <laughs> it was. One big play for Elida. Got him down there, get him in scoring position. Now the question is, you know, how does Spencerville respond? I mean, this is right. this is first game of the season, your first chance out there, you know, to, to respond to a touchdown already. So, you know, this is going to be some character for yeah. your Spencerville team. And, and the thing I liked about the Elida offense is is Henderson, he had all day to s sit back there and pass. The offensive line did a fantastic job, and we're going to talk about them a little later in the broadcast. So here come the Bearcats as they try to return the favor. Bring it up to about the 25-26 yard line. That's where they'll take over. Spencerville Bearcats, last year they were 5-6 and six overall, 4-3 and three in the Northwest Conference. Offensively, they averaged 26 points a game, Dar. Defensively, they gave up 23 a game, so they had a little problem on, on the defensive end there. Uh, inconsistency, too. They, they'd lose one, win one, lose one. They just couldn't string some together. And a real frustrating year for the Bearcats. Yeah, it was. But, you know, I'm going to be interested, in, like you said, Danny, to see what kind of offense they come out oh, here yeah. with and see how that the change in their offense you know, what, what can they do with it? You know, they got a good, experienced quarterback back here, so Absolutely. let's see what he can do. Well, Coach Summers has raved about Josh Henline and his ability to be a leader on the field. So they've got trips to the left. Here comes Henline. He goes deep across the middle. He's got a man well behind the defense. Oh, they got a nice play back there and a nice pitch and catch for the Bearcats. Nate Coder, the junior wide receiver, who was the quarterback yep. last year. Yes, he was. I was. We heard that name a lot last year, but it was from the quarterback position. But great pass by Henline down. Well, the line. Yeah, you take a look at this replay, Darren. I oh. don't know if it's an indication, but I think they're in good hands. <laughs> I think so, right down the middle. 
What a fantastic job by Coulter. Had to wait a little bit, but uh, young man, that uh, that was a nice pitch and catch for the Bearcats. So here they come. They're in the eye now. They'll swing the ball back to the tailback. He'll run through the line, pick up about three there. That's number 26. That's Carter Lehman, the 5'11 junior. Picks up about two yards. They'll bring up second down. And that's the Bearcat offense that we've seen so much of in the, in the past years. Just pitch it, try to run over that uh, right side of the line, follow your line, your offensive line there. Yeah. And a big number 67 on that but side over there. It's interesting, Dar, that all week long, all we've heard about is just going to the spread offense, going to the spread offense. Second play of the game in the power eye. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So here comes Henline. He's back in the pocket again. Looks across the middle, throws to the end zone, and he just out of the outstretched arms of his receiver. In the corner, he was uh, targeting number seven, Carter Orr, the 6'2 sophomore. They've got some bigs. they got some size. I don't mean big. I'm talking size as far as height. they got on the, yeah, real good height on yeah. this team. Nice right. coverage there by Jackson Cobalt on, the, on that pass play. Yeah. I mean, you look at this offensive line for Spencerville. They're big oh, kids yeah, out absolutely. there, you know. Number 67, icy, you know, kill out there. The big guy out there is number 50, though, Dylan Cook. He oh, kind of anchors. Cook. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's funny you should say that because in my notes I've got he anchors that line. He yes, sure does. He does. So here comes Henline. He's in the gun. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got a man in motion. Hands the ball off. Sweep over to the left side. Tries to get around the end, and a great job. Great job by number six for the Bulldogs. That's Amari Walsh, and he's all over the field. He's a freshman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that when I was looking at, you know, getting ready for this game. I thought, wow, they got a couple freshmen yeah, out there. They, they do, line. and, you know, the coaches in our notes, they, they just rave about the 6'2", 215-pound defensive end, uh, Parker Krim, is it right? Yep. And they talk about his athleticism and how quick he is, but I'm telling you, Amari Walsh ain't taking a backseat to anybody. No, because he, he took down Nate uh, Colter on that one. That's right. Here comes Henline. He goes to the right side looks to pass just out of the outstretched arms and that's going to bring up a big decision here for the Bearcats on fourth down so the drive stalls for the Bearcats they go a long way down the field and uh, let's see what they're going to do here on fourth down yeah this ought to be interesting I mean you know he's tried three passes now since that big play right off the bat and and, uh, you know, I'm mistaken. They turned the ball over on downs. They had the wrong marker over there. That's what I was looking at, and they turned oh. the ball over on downs. Yep. So hey, don't be mad at WSN here. We, we, we yep. had the marker on the third down. So I'm just trying to yeah, I thought there was th yeah, exactly. three incomplete passes. Yeah, anyway. so here come the Bulldogs. They'll set up shop again on the offensive end. They're at the 20-yard line. They're looking to put more points on the board against the Bearcats. That was a key stop by the Bulldogs, sure too. Here comes Henderson. He hands the ball off. And you talk about a pile of oh, Bearcats look out. <laughs> ready for that. A loss of about four yards there. My goodness. You talk about a loss. Brady Kirk was just blown away by that defensive line for the Bearcats. I was going to say, somewhere underneath all that black is Brady Kirk. And I'm not sure where he you – know, there he gets up just fine. But, you know, you're right. Yeah, that was great pursuit there by the, by the Bearcats to get him, you know, you know. And, Dar, we've, we've already got as many points scored tonight as we did all last year in that yeah. game. So, <laughs> remember last year. Now, it may yeah. stay that way. Well, so you're right. You're right. We, you, you get those games where the, the first possession, they come out firing. So, uh, I got a feeling we're going to see a lot of points tonight. These two quarterbacks really like to air it out, and uh, it's a treat for all of us. So, Larkin Henderson is back in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's got one to the right, one to the left. He'll go to the left side. little bubble screen out there, and they'll try to get him some yards. Nice job moving up the field. Gets about to the 26-yard line where he's going to be about four yards short of the first down. Yeah, Jackson Cobalt again out there. I got a feeling they're going to use, go to Jackson Cobalt a lot tonight. I think you're right. You watch here, and they, they've got a nice game plan here, getting some blockers out in space and did a really good job. And, hey, sometimes people understand, well, why are you throwing into coverage like that? But if you get the blocking scheme out there, right. everything's set up to score. What you're counting on, too, is a little bit of over-pursuit by yes. the defense, yep. too. Yep. You know, kind of blow right past you. That's a great point. That's a great point. So Henderson's in the gun. He's got a man beside him. He's got one to the right, two to the left. He's going to throw to the left side. He's got a man out there for a first down. A little pitch and catch, a nice play. He just runs an out route, sits down on the first down marker, and that's where they'll take over. First down for the Bulldogs. Our first down sponsor tonight, Dar, is Citizens National Bank. Tonight's first down sponsor. See how we're building business one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. That was a nice out pass to uh, Keaton Hockey there. Good coverage by Spencerville on it, though. So 7.02 on the clock. Bulldogs lead 7 to nothing here in the week one of the state high school, no, state of Ohio high school football underway here. 
There's a little sweep off to the left side. Gets a little room. He gets the corner. Almost got the corner. That's number six for Eli. That's Amari Walsh. And my goodness, they've got a game plan for Walsh tonight. Now you got to break this freshman in right. Well, he, he looks like a senior right now, Dar. He, he looks cool as a cucumber. Yeah, he's got some good speed getting yes, around that does. corner. You see him there, you know, just going right past the defender. I like the game plan from Elida so far, mixing it up, passing, running, little power ball, a little finesse. And here we go. Henderson's in the gun. He's got one beside him to the left. He's got two to the right, one to the left. He's in the gun. Ball comes back. He throws to the left side, little bubble screen, out to his man, tries to break away from the tackle, and will pick up about four yards. And talk a little bit, Dar, about why that's so important to run those out routes at three yards so you can you can get the big play down the line. Oh, you can. I mean, and, and that's what, you know, you were talking about the game plan for uh, Elida. They came out in this game and, and got the score right off the bat yeah. on a long pass play. Now they're just working it down the field. They're yep. using all their weapons they've got, and a couple of running game running plays as well as the passing game. So that little pass out there, you know, I'll take four yards oh, right absolutely, off the bat. You know, absolutely. Kind of get the defense thinking, oh, i got to cover that area too. But that leaves the, the other side wide open then. Here comes Henderson. He fakes the ball to Walsh. Henderson goes up to the left side. And they're not falling for that one this time. Walsh is playing the decoy role right now. And uh, they're watching everything he does. But Henderson goes up for about three yards. That'll bring up third down for the Bulldogs. Yeah, they're looking at a third down and five. Well, I'll tell you what, Dar, you, I, I don't think you could find a seat out here tonight. This place is packed on both sides, and the Elida faithful all in orange. They're sitting in the sun. they got to be a little warm over oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they can even see the game over there. The student body all in white over there. Boy, they're being a little loud over there. We like to see that. And love high school football here. So here comes Henderson. He's got two to the right, one to the left. He's got a man in the backfield. Fake pumps the ball, goes across left oh, side. Oh, nice play. Right open, and they're going to oh, score a touchdown. Are you kidding me? I think that was Keaton Hockey, wasn't he? Keaton Hockey, number yeah. three, three for the Bulldogs. What a play. That was a sidearm pass to <laughs> by Larkin Henderson. Oh, my goodness. Listen, Larkin Henderson's putting the rest of the WBL on notice and says, Whoa. boys, we're coming to play football this fall. Watch Boy, this play. Yeah, look at this. Well, it's just shown at the end of that play with nice catch by Hockey, too, because he just reaches up there and pulls it out of the air. But that was really a sidearm throw by <laughs> Henderson. Right Number through the defense. Keaton Hockey says, I don't have to be fast because yeah. I'm, I'm way far ahead of you, boys. Wow. So here comes the PAT, 523 to go. PAT snap is back, kick is up, and it is good. And the Bulldogs have taken a 14 to nothing lead over the rival Spencerville Bearcats. You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. John Stocker, UBS, is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. The Elida premier sponsor is Dr. John Stocker. Partner, I didn't know it was July 4th, <laughs> but we're seeing fireworks. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, they wanted to win the battle of explosives, and right now I say Elida's winning it. And you got to give it all to Henderson because, well, you know, Brady Kirk on that first run, they got him down there to score. But Henderson is just putting on a show back here as far as throwing goes. And that was a great fake on that play there, too, that pass touchdown pass to Hockey because he has pulled the defense in, left Hockey out there by himself, and then just kind of slung it out there, you know, a little bit, you know, like Brett Favre out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about halftime adjustments, but right now, Dar, the, the difference in the game is the Elida skill position against the Spencerville defensive backfield. They're just torching them right now. A little bobble there on that play. They'll try to bring it up the middle. Nice return for uh, for what it could have been, but it gets about to the 31. But, uh, that's number 10 for the Bearcats. That's Dylan Short, the 6'1 sophomore. And uh, he paid the price for bobbling the ball. Yeah, he did. <laughs> So here come the Bearcats. They got to get it together. And look, it's 14 to nothing, but you saw what Spencerville's capable of. Henline can sling the ball with the best of him. He's got good skill position receivers. It's not panic time at all yet. Oh, no. But what Spencerville needs right now is they need a long drive. Yes. They need, a, need, some they need to keep, Hender yep. and keep Henderson off the field, <laughs> yes. you know, and just kind of drive it down there and finish up with a score. You can't yeah. just drive it down there. You got to get a score of some kind down Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So here comes Henline. He's under center. He's going to power eye, and he's got one to the left. So he'll. Pitch the ball back. 
They'll try to go around the left side, and they are being heavily pursued. And you want to talk about a man's type play. Number 55 for the Bearcats. That's Torrey Thomas. And most of the time we talk about Torrey Thomas anchoring that offensive line, the 6'2", 220-pound senior. But, brother, he just made a heck of a defensive play. Yeah, he did. A four-year starter for this Bulldog Oh, he's Bulldog fantastic. Team. Look at that step or pep in his step. He's ready to make some, wreak some havoc out there. Well, they, they're done practicing. They that's won't right, play. That's right. So here comes Henline. He's got in the power eye. He's got one to the right. Henline goes to the right side. He throws way down the field. And he's got his oh. man out there at a pitch and catch. And he's down to the five, to the four, to the one, right at the goal line. He found his man, Nate Coulter. The combinations worked really well tonight. Yeah, Tyler uh, Carter all over him on that one there, but it looked like Carter kind of slipped a little bit, which gave Coulter that one step yeah. he needed. And let's take and a look. The They're play. bringing the ball back. From our vantage point, it looked like everything was good. Let's take a look and see what happened here. He made the catch. Was there a pen? I didn't see a penalty flag. Foul the play. Okay. Oh. All right. That's what I thought. Yeah. You, know, you you saw him out there. You know, kind of kind of slipped. The defensive back slipped yeah. a little bit. You know, just too much contact. Can, can we run that replay back? We can take a look at that and see if we can find that offensive. But yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll look at that offensive pass interference. But boy, another big play negated by a penalty. Yeah, that's, that's the killer, too, because he would have been right down on about the five-yard line on that play. But the, but, but the good news, Dar, they found their matchups they like because I'm telling you, Nate Colter is a hard guy to cover. So here's that play. Let's take a look at this, and we'll see if we can't see where the pass interference was. Nice play by Henline. He just really airs it out there. And maybe a little push off there. Yep, so. Yeah, right, yep. right there. You, yeah. Here comes Henline. He swings it out to the left side. They got a man out there, and we got another penalty flag. That could be in the line of scrimmage, and I'm thinking that's a holding call. So the Bearcats are really going to be backed up, and they just keep shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, then they can't afford that because, like I said, they need a long drive to keep Henderson, you know, and that offense, light offense off the field. And right now, they're not able to do that. Yep. And that is number 50 for the Bearcats, and that is Dylan Cook. So that is unlike Dylan Cook to get a penalty like that. Dylan's a road grader, and he usually just smashes people. <laughs> yeah, he just knocks them away. Yeah, absolutely. I like Dylan Cook, and I like the way he plays football. He plays football the old-fashioned way. Get out of my way, or I'll move you. <laughs> or run you over one Absolutely. Of Henline back to about the three-yard line. He's in the gun. He's got one to the right, two to the left. He's a little swing pass out. They try to make some yards there, and he is swarmed under. He gets to about the nine-yard line. And that is where they will start Carter second Lane. down. Tackle on the play, number six. It's third down, Watt. excuse me. So it's third and 33. So I got to believe, Dar, that they're going to run a conservative play here. I can't yeah, imagine I think so. I backed think. up this far down 14 nothing. But, you know. As soon as we say <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> you know, Chris Summers loving to pull anything out of that right now, you know, because he's got to get something to motivate this team. And, you know, he, he had the one pass play and then it was called back on him. Now he's got to come up with something else. He's got Carter Orr way split out to the left. He's got Colter running the and they'll hand off the right up the middle got a little confused there on that play because i had man in motion and went to the other side but elida not not tricked by that play and that's where elida will, or Spencerville will pump the ball away here it's going to give elida good field position oh, on this fantastic. and no real breeze out there at all tonight and flag is pretty much steady 258 to go uh dar do you come after this punt in the end zone you for mm -hmm. you force him a little bit I know if you well, can. You, don't, I, I, you I know, want to make yeah. sure you don't get a penalty on right. this one either if you're uh, Elida. Sure. You don't want to get a roughing the kicker or something yeah. like that, which really will hurt and you. And the other thing is you're moving the ball consistently right. on offense. You're going to get the ball at midfield. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hurt yourself here. I'll tell Anything you what, they've got, a lot, they've got a lot at the line of scrimmage. Here they come. They're coming after it. I will, oh, my goodness, they almost got it. And he gets the punt away, and it will go to about the 40-yard line, and it's going to roll. Nice Spencerville roll there, so. What could have been a disaster turns into uh, something they can uh, hang their hat on there. It's about the 43-yard line. Short field for uh, Henderson and crew, so we'll see what they can do with this one here. Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out first, play, first down and just fires it you know, towards the end zone just to see what happens. Uh, you, you, you got the matchups you want, and, and your, your skill position players are really dominating right now. Uh, I would keep the heat on Spencerville. A little confusion for the backfield, you know, defensive backs right now for Spencerville. You saw it on that one touchdown play, yeah. you know, so 
Yeah, I'd go, I'd go right at them and see what happens. Dar, week one of the high school season. What, you, what, what Some of the premier teams in the area, we look at the Finley Trojans. My goodness, they're loaded. You take a look at uh, Marion Local, Wapakoneta tonight. Those are some, you know, some of the premier teams in the area. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think and you get to the small schools, of course, you're going to look at Columbus Grove. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're they're loaded as well. Yeah, when you talk about Finley with the, with the Montgomery, Montgomery boys. boys. Wow. You know, poof. <laughs> that isn't that tell fun? you what. <laughs> Yeah, any team would love to have them. But, uh, yeah, and I think there's a, a few other ones out there, you know, the small schools that are going to really, you know, Lipsix always has a good school, a good team. So here's Henderson to the gun. He'll swing the ball out of the backfield, try to get a few yards, and they'll get about three yards on the carry. He swings the ball out to number four, and that's uh, Tyler Carter, a 5'9 senior. Yeah, you take it. I saw a report the other night that Ryan Montgomery, the sensational sophomore quarterback, has added 25 pounds on his frame. And, I was blown away, and he's a sophomore. He's 6'3", 215. Yep. <laughs> well, and, it, and it, Luke Montgomery is no oh slouch, I'll goodness. tell you what. Yeah. You know. I uh, I tried to get Luke Montgomery, and I, I got hold of his dad, tried to get him on my radio show on 93.1, and uh, his dad was like, we're really busy. <laughs> yeah, thought, I'm sure they are. <laughs> and I said, no problem, Mr. Montgomery. You call me after the season's over. He was very gracious about it. So here come the Bearcats. They try to sweep it onto the right side. I'm sorry, the Bulldogs. Bearcats will get a wall of players up there to try to stop them. And that'll bring up third down. Third and six on the 39-yard line. So Tyler, Tyler Carter again on that carry. He's a three-year starter for Elida as well. Boy, you, you just you just see a little bit of uh, something different about the Bulldogs this year. You, we you know, had them a few times last year, and, and things didn't go their way. But, boy, they just look super confident right now. And some of these freshmen are sensational. Well, the freshmen are making a nice compliment to your seniors you've yes, got out there. Yep. You've got you know, three-year starters and a four-year starter, you know, out there as well. I mean, and these freshmen are just filling in that little gap they need. Yep, here comes Henderson as he rolls to his left side, throws the ball to the left. He's got his man out there. First down. His completion, that's a first down. <clears throat> our first down, <throat> absolutely, our first down sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Citizens National Bank is our first down sponsor. I'll tell you what, Danny, what, you know, you watch Henderson on the, that play right there particularly, his leadership, his understanding yeah, of where absolutely. the defense back, because he pulled it back in at the last minute, saw the guy that was open out there. You know, that may have been the set play to start with, but it sure didn't look like it, and he flicked it right out there for the first down. Here comes Henderson. Henderson, he's in the gun. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got nobody in the backfield with him. We are first and ten from the 31-yard line. Fake the handoff. He goes right up the middle. Gets a nice yard. He's five yards on the play. He got lit big time in the hole there. And there's a flag comes out, and we're going to see what that's all about. It's in the area of holding, but I did not see it. It was kind of came in late, so it yeah. came in right yeah. after the play. So I don't think it's holding. Uh, but you just wonder if it was helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. I don't know. At first, I thought he ran into the back of his own guy. That's what I thought, too. Get the call here soon. 41 seconds to go here until the end of the first quarter. It's going to go against Spencerville. So let's uh, wait for Chris Ewald to make the call here. That's a biggie, too. Foul the play. Personal foul. Late hit on the defense. Late hit. All right. Pass the All distance right. to the goal line. We have first down. First and 10. That's so a 13-yard uh, line. That's Chris Ewald, our officials tonight are Chris Ewald, Marco Dowd, Tony Steinbush, Michael Sparks, and Matthew Cummins. Good crew to work with tonight. So here come the Bulldogs, 38 seconds to go here, up 14-0 on the Bearcats, looking to put more on the board. Henderson flips the ball out to the back, goes to the right side. He's got oh, a hole. Good cut. Gets good around cut. to the hole. Still on his feet, moving towards the goal line. Boy, it took a lot of him to bring him down. He goes down about the five-yard line, Dar. That was Brady Kirk on that carry, 5'11", 190 pounds, and he used all 190 pounds to get about three more yards on that one. Brady Kirk says, I like it when I can run away from these guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting hit hard, but Brady yeah. Kirk is a tank, man. He's oh, tough. He Watch him lower his head. He, he, he goes, he lays the wood to them boys right there. Look at that. And he has a good instinct for where the hole's at, too. And he follows his blockers well. So, you know, like I said, he's listed as a fullback on this team, which you don't see a whole lot of anymore with the spread offenses. Yeah. But Looks like Elida's going to take a timeout. Oh, that's the end of the first quarter. After one quarter from Spencerville High School. Bulldogs lead the Bearcats 14 to nothing. Watching high school football week one on WOSN.
Welcome back to Spencerville High School. After one quarter, the Bearcats are down to the Bulldogs 14 to nothing. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home an energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. IHIO.com. Matt's Heating and Cooling, our red zone sponsor. So all Elida in the first quarter, Dar. 14 to nothing and knocking on the door again. Yeah, and, it, and really it comes down to two guys out there really pulling the load for their, the offensive side for Lida, and that's uh, Henderson and Kirk. But Henderson really showed his leadership out there. I mean, he's he's found his receivers. Yes. He's found, you know, the holes in the defensive backfield for the Spencerville Bearcats. He's taking advantage of those. Uh, he's calling, you know, the coach is calling all the right plays for him. Absolutely. You know, and right now they're just getting ready to, you know, trying to score again. And that's going to be really hard for Spencerville then if they go down three scores. Absolutely. So here comes Henderson. He's in the oh, – he's under center this time. He's got one back in the backfield. He's got two split out to the left and a man in motion. He'll keep the ball himself, and he'll take it into the oh, end zone yeah. for another Bulldog touchdown. Larkin Henderson, the three-year starter, he says, fellas – Get on my back. I'm going to take you home. So Larkin Henderson's with the score, and that makes it 20 to nothing. Elida with 11.56 to go on the scoreboard. Just following a big offensive line he's got out there, you know, right in there, right past the, in the center, right into the score. So they'll try to tack on the extra point to make it 21 to nothing. And everything they are doing is coming up roses. Yeah, this would be Grant Hardman for the extra point. There's the snap. Kick is up, and it is good. And he is three for three tonight on extra points. With 11.56 to go on the scoreboard, the visiting Elida Bulldogs dominating this one 21 to nothing. Watching high school football right here on WSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Service, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So uh, I, I don't know about financial services right now, Dar, but uh, Spencerville <laughs> needs some defensive services. <laughs> well, right now Spencerville's bankrupt. I mean, they, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, they need to figure out something. they got to get some kind of offense going. Yeah. And, and, look, we, we said it. Look, Chris Summers is a fantastic coach. Oh. They've got athletes. You've seen what they can do. They just seen, They just need to settle down. And, and you said it so correct. They just need a nice drive, put some points in the on the board, and, and settle yourself down. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if nothing else, you know, the first couple you know, possessions, you know, in this drive here, you know, just get a couple good yards. Absolutely. Had a little trouble with the, the ball there. This is number 10, Dylan Short, and he is taken down by a host of Bulldogs, and they'll take over at about the 16-yard line. That's the other thing. Bearcats Dylan haven't Hurt. had any really good field Bearcats. position on any of their drives. That's a great point. That's a great point, yeah. You, uh, you, you, you start in the, in the teens every time, yeah. and, and you, you're really causing yourself. And, and look, Elida's defense uh, not giving up much on the run. They, they've given up a few big plays in the pass game, but, boy, that defensive line right now is dominating that Bearcat offensive line. Well, you know that, you know, that, you know, that Kyle Harmon's going to make some adjustments when it comes to his defensive backs and Nate Colder. Yeah. You know, you got to get you know, a couple guys on him. you got to pull a safety over there as well with the cornerback and try to shut Colder down because that's really the only um, – passing game right now that Spencerville has. Here come the Bearcats. It's the line. Quick pass to the right side and nothing going out there. And uh, you saw number 50 for the dogs, Parker Krim, the freshman. And, boy, he's an imposing figure at 6'2", 215. That young man looks looks like a grown man out there. Oh, he does. <laughs> he was right in the Henline's face there. And uh, he's getting off the ball real quick. And I, that's what I'm really noticing right now about Elite is their team speed. They, they look really quick. And I can picture him looking at it with his tongue hanging out waiting for that ball. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Go ahead and catch it. <laughs> Here comes Ten line in the gun. He's got a receiver to the right, two to the left. He looks to throw the ball, moves up in the pocket, finds his man over the middle. He's got Colter over the middle, tries to escape a couple – Bulldogs, and it looks like he's going to pick up a first down, yeah, Dar. First down sponsor tonight is Citizens Bank National Bank. Bank. See how we're building businesses. One relationship at a high time. CMDOhio.com. I'm sorry, that was Carter Orr, number seven. Yeah, got Southmore. Colder mixed up. But Bearcats will take that first down. They'll move the ball down the field. Hemline's in the gun. Almost gets over his head. Throws the ball out to Colter on this one to the left side. Tries to go down the side. Taken out of bounds at around the... 
Looks like about the 43 yard line. Yeah, and Henley going up talking to the center and say, yeah. You want to bring it down a little bit? And, and, and look what's <laughs> happening here, Dart. You, you see that uh, Spencerville's noticing that Elida's getting off the ball quick. So what are they doing? It's a two-step drop and get that ball out quick and make those guys chase a little bit. I, I really like that game plan. Oh, yeah, and you could tell Henley had knew where his receiver exactly. was going to be yep. right then because as soon as he pulled that ball down, he just kind of flipped it out there. So he's got – Henline comes under center. He's got the power eye. He's got one to the left. They'll hand the first man up, and he's just swarmed under. That's Carter Orr. And uh, Carter Orr was taken Number down seven, by a Carter host Orr of Bulldogs. It looks like a loss of one maybe. That will bring up second down with 11-12 to go, and the Bulldogs up 21-0. Yeah, that was Luke Anderson on the first hit there for the Bulldogs. Well, partner, the heat hasn't went anywhere. It's still hotter than Blazes. Yeah, out here. it is. <laughs> we thought maybe it'd cool down a little bit, but uh, no chance of that. Here comes Henline. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got a single back in the backfield. Snap is a little high. He gets it under control. Looks down the field. He throws across the middle. He's got oh, a man, man. And it's just out of the hands of Nate Colder. Put it right in the bread basket. We'll see on this replay. He was wide open for about a 20-yard game. A good hit there, though, by Seth Sharp. Right, right when it hit Colder's hands, Sharp was right there to knock him loose. Yeah, Henline does a nice job of keeping control of the ball. Throws it across the middle. He's got Colder for days. And just a big hit from the backside. Look, I don't, I don't care how good a receiver you can hit that hard from the oh, back. That, perfect charging, timing. Absolutely. I mean, just as just when he hit him, you know, hit his hands, there was Sharp right there to knock him down. Here's Henline in the gun. He looks across the field. He's almost taken down. Gets oh, it out to job. the back. Nice job on the screenplay. Bearcats are going to get a first down. Fantastic job by number four, John Grant Henley Duty, to stay in. Four, a great job by Henline just down. to get, escape that, you know, it looked like he was going to get dropped for a loss Jackson back here. He was able to get away from that it. That shows you and the still, athleticism. Yeah, of yeah. Watch him find his man. Almost takes the sack. My goodness, number three for Eli. <laughs> that was David Edscorn just shot out of a cannon. Here comes Henline. He's got trips to the right. He's got one to the left. He's got a single back in the backfield. He takes the snap, looks across, over to the right side, throws the ball down. He's got Carter Orr. Nice completion for about nine yards. Yeah, like we said, you know, Chris Summers you know, makes adjustments all the time, and now he's made his. He's been able to find the guys in the backfield. Yep. You you put the ball in the end zone here. You've got a new game, and your kid's got a new Absolutely. new set of confidence. Yeah, because they're moving the ball, and they're moving Absolutely. the ball, and, and Henley's getting confidence every time he's throwing the ball. Yep. Right there. There's that, <laughs> that elided defensive line really chomping at the bit. They're going to get it off sides. That's going to move the ball up five yards for the Bearcats, and you'll take anything you can get right now, and a great drive right now for the Bearcats. Play, on the defense. Yeah, that was on Kevin McGuire probably just down. jumping a little bit. 310-pound defensive tackle out there for Elida. Dar, I know I'm gushing about this defensive line, but that looks like a college defensive oh, it's, line out huge. there. I'm telling you, WBO, you better get ready. <laughs> I mean, you look at McGuire out there anchoring oh that goodness. line, too. So here come the Bearcats, and <laughs> this defensive line just crushing. Number 26 for the Bearcats, Carter Lehman, the 5'11 junior, got nothing out of that. And who else was in there but Parker Krim. <laughs> Parker Krim. <laughs> you take that deal. Yeah. Parker Krim out there, yeah. And only a freshman, yep. like we said. Parker Krim, meet Ryan Day. You may be yep. working for him someday. <laughs> you may be. <laughs> well, listen, he's got the intangibles right now, 6'2", 215, and he moves like a train. Oh. So. <laughs> and your coach has got to be, you know, well, just salivating oh, about absolutely. the fact that I've got you for four years. <laughs> So here comes Henline in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. Back in the backfield. He goes across the middle. Got his man picked oh. off. Ball's picked off at about the 20. They'll try to move the ball up. That's number 44 for the dogs. Luke Burkholder. Luke Burkholder. And the ball gets tipped. And again, a drive thwarted by a mistake by the Bearcats. Yeah, just off the hands of the receiver. Unfortunately, when you're throwing it over the middle like that and it hits off the hands of the receiver, you're vulnerable for the interception. And that's what happened here. Yep. Henline just... The ball is tipped up. It looked like number 22 for the Bearcats. Yeah, That's Brady, Brady Kirk. Kirk, who's Mr. Everything right now, and he gets the tip, and that'll put the Bulldogs in business. They were moving the ball down the field, had just great play calling and uh, just a mistake. And you see Chris Summers saying, all right, let's, let's not that define us. And th 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 this right now, Dar, is the defining moment for, for their defensive. Oh, absolutely. You, know, you, you give up a 28 nothing here with 9-11 to go, boy, you, you got serious issues. Yeah, and you've got to recover from that. I mean, the interception is definitely you've got to recover from that, and you've got to go out there and play, you know, hard defense on this. Here comes Larkin Henderson. He's in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's got one to the right, one to the left. He's got a single setback. He'll hand the ball off. He'll go to the right side. 
It's about four yards on the carry. That's number four for the Bulldogs. That's Grant Duty. We all number saw him earlier Carter today. And this is a luxury for Lighter right now. Let's just, you know, sustain a long drive here. Get down there, put some points on the board. You know, eat up the clock here in the first half and go up, go into the. Uh, and, and, and I'll, 28 yeah, to nothing. Yeah, and I'll be the first to admit, partner, I, I did not see this coming. I, I really anticipated a grudge match like we had last year. Both teams pretty even, uh, but right now it's the skill position players for Elida that are just, just causing havoc for the Bearcats. Well, and you saw them wake up last year with a, a lot of their skilled players too. Oh, know. absolutely. So here comes Henderson. He pump fakes the ball. He's going deep down the right side. Just overshoots his man. Intended target. See if I can find Morgan that man. Yes, Keaton Hawking. Keaton Hawking over there. That's a long way over there, partner. You got better eyesight than I do. Yeah. I'm looking at the monitor here. Yeah, Keaton's kind of kind of looks like a tight end more yes, than anything he does. else. He's 5'11, 190 pounds, but he looks bigger than that. Absolutely. So 21 0, 819 to go here. Danny Hilberg Darn Evergall for WOSN. Week one of the high school football slate. Beautiful night here at Spencerville High School. And the Bulldogs have come to play up 21 to nothing. Here's Henderson. He drops the ball, tries to find it, picks it up. Rush coming in from the Bearcats. He gets away. Oh, look he out. Gets look him. out. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? He's going to pick up a first down and about 15 yards. And a late hit, he'll get another 15 yards, Dar. Well, I'll tell you what. That just shows how what an athlete he is. Larkin Henderson drops the ball under incredible pressure by the Spencerville defensive line. And this young man does nothing but pick it up, gain a first down, and an extra 15 yards on the play. So uh, equivalent to about 40 yards on the yeah. ball. And doesn't lose his cool when no, he drops that all. ball. He just kind of looks for it, knows where the defenders are coming. He knows he's gonna, got guys coming down on top of him, and just picks it up and finds an opening. And Hayden Heyman, the Bearcat, who gets the late hit, and you just wonder if that's a little bit of frustration. It is. It is. You know. And we talked about it. It's warm out there too. You're Absolutely. hot. You know, you just you just were driving down the field. You gave the ball back over to them again. You know, a lot of a lot of things going on in your head right now. So here comes Henderson, first and ten, from about the 35-yard line. He got a man in motion. He'll hand the ball off. Tries to go to the right side. He's got plenty of space out there. He's got one man to beat. Taken out of bounds. That was number three for the Bulldogs, David Etzcorn, and he just blew away the defense there. Just a junior, you know. 5'11", 180 pounds, David Escorn out there. Got some speed on the outside. Once he got around there, you see him just fly right past the defender. And it's just a tremendous job of blocking by the offensive line there. So our red zone sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. HIO.com. Here's Etzcorn again. Try to try a little magic again. And... Uh, <laughs> Bearcats didn't fall for that one. No, and one guy there, Dylan Cook, he wasn't falling for that one at all. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder when you get a kid like David Etzcorn that makes a 20, 25-yard run and it takes a little steam out of him, they come right back to him and – uh, I just I, sometimes I wonder what, what, why, why you go to back to him, but you know I guess you're trying to catch lightning in a bottle two times. Yeah, right? you are, and, and you're trying to uh, trying to outsmart the defense. Sure, sure. You're, you're thinking, you know, well, they're not going to go back to the same guy again, you know, <laughs> right. and, and for the same kind <laughs> of play. Did. And they did. <laughs> you know. So there's a little bit of a chess match going on there. So here comes Henderson to the gun. He's got one to the left, two to the right. He's got a man in motion. He'll fake the handoff. He'll bring it himself right up the middle. Here goes Henderson. Oh, there he He's going to get into the end zone again. Another Bulldog touchdown. Lurkin Henderson, the 5'10 senior, scores for the second time tonight, and he gives the Bulldogs the 27 nothing lead with 7'14 to go on the scoreboard. Wow, and a big hole up the middle you can see here. His, his offensive line just opened it wide open for him. Nice job. Boy, he is shifty, Dar. He, not only has he got speed and a good arm, but, boy, he can make people miss you. And he, and he finds the holes. I mean, he definitely has good eye out there for where he's got to run. So all Elida on the Web Insurance scoreboard with 7.14 to go. They'll try to tack another point on. Snap his back, kick is up. And that young man is four for four for extra points. With 7.14 to go on the Web Insurance scoreboard, the Elida Bulldogs completely dominating this one, 28-0. Mark Labor Day on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom Hall Family Dealership. The race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise and Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as the launch of Act 
academies in Allen East and Spencer will take place in September. To sign up, Google Eli to LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. LifeWise of Allen County 5K, presented by Tom Hall Family Leadership. Labor Day 2022 at 9 a.m. in Eli. We need to get out there and run that one, partner. Now, I'm just going to say, Danny, there you go. You better sign up for that. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> You're younger than me. Get out there and do that. I'll cheer uh, you on. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll walk it. Okay? okay. I'll, I'll walk it, partner. Here comes Elida as they kick the ball deep to Spencerville. Again, oh, that's three times they've done yeah, that. You're exactly right, partner. They are having trouble. And again, they're going to take the ball in the teens at about the 17-yard line. So number 26 for the Bearcats. That's Carter Lehman. And uh, it's, just, it's just killing them, partner. It's just it killing is. Them. Like I said, that's at least, at least three that I know of that he's dropped, they've dropped the ball back there. So 28 to nothing. The Bulldogs lead Spencerville. Right here was 7.08 to go. And, 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 you know, Chris Summers is telling his kids, you know, let's just continue working on the things we work on. Uh, but uh, it gets to a point where you, you, you got to have something good happen here. Well, and Kyle Harmon on the other side for Elida is telling his guys, you know, hey, we're up 28 to nothing, but you can't stop working hard. Oh, absolutely. Hard. You know, this is a good Spencerville team, and, you know, you got to keep out there and, and keep doing what you're doing. There's Henline, and he is hit hard in the backfield. He gets the ball out. Gets it out to number 26, and that's Carter Lehman. But uh, Josh Henline was uh, was hit hard, and number 50, Parker Krim, the big 6'2 freshman, was right in his face. You take a look at that and took him down pretty hard. But he did get nice job of staying composed in the pocket. Yeah, absolutely, even with the guy bearing down on you. And, you know, again, both these quarterbacks back there had good coolness. in the. In they the, sure do. You know, in remaining calm back there, even under, and Henlines have a lot of pressure put on him. Both very athletic. So here comes Henline. He's got two to the right, two to the left. Little screen pass out to That's Nate Coulter. Nate again. Coulter he gets up to about the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Our first down sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building business. One relationship at a time. at cmbohio.com. Citizens National Bank is our first down sponsor. I'll Love tell you it. what, Danny, you know, Coulter's going to break one of those one of these yeah, times. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I, I, you know, I, he's I, come close on yep. about two or three of those little flare passes out to the, the agree sideline. So it looks like we're going to get a timeout on the field. So Elida calls the timeout with 6.54 to go. We've got great upcoming broadcast this weekend on WOSN. We take a look and uh, Park, Parkway versus Crest. I'm sorry, next week, Parkway Crestview, Allen East USV, Coldwater Spike Off. And we'll take a break. That leads 28. Exciting news for both teams in our respective schools. For Elida, the second year of LifeWise begins next Thursday, August 25th, and it's expanding to the fifth grade class. For Spencerville, year one launches soon. You can get a sneak preview tomorrow morning, August 20th, at Open House Breakfast. The community is invited to 103 North Broadway beginning at 9 a.m. You can go to each school's respective Facebook pages to find out more information. LifeWise special. Here comes the headline. He's in the backfield again. He's going to take it himself. And boy, Ooh. he was hit hard. Dar, I felt that up here. My Goodness, number 51, Christian High, the 5'10 senior, really hit him hard. Hit him a little high, too. Yeah. Yes, he did. I heard yeah. you say, ooh. <laughs> like I took his head off. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the play. I'm just, uh, <laughs> it was very nervous laughter for me. I'll tell you, Henline took a shot. There's Henline in the backfield. He's got two light, kind of moving up a little quicker here, trying to get the uh, defense on their heels. It's about the 42-yard line, 6'8", six, 6'18 eight, six, to go here. Like they're changing the play. And lining the gun. Looks across the field. Goes across the middle. He's got a man out there and a nice pitch and catch. That's number four for the Bearcats. Grand duty. When he's got time, Dar, he's, he's accurate, and they, they, the receivers are getting open. They're getting it open, and they're making nice catches, too. I mean, they had to reach out for a couple of those passes, and they're pulling them in just, you know, so. If they can continue this up, they can put some points on the board. Yeah, Henline does a nice job of finding these guys in open space. So here's Henline in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right, one single step back. Coach Summers tells him we're going to change the play call a little bit. He looks at his wristband. They see something they like on the matchups here. Henline fakes the ball, looks down the field, throws it off to the right side. He's got Colter out there. Oh, nice little twisty yep. move there, and he's going to pick up five extra yards. Wow, fantastic job by Nate Coulter, and that shows you the athlete he is. Absolutely, and you go to the well one more time. And we talked about that, you know, one of these times Nate Coulter's going to break one of those loose, and 
You put him out there one-on-one -on -one with somebody, and he's going to make them pay. Well, here comes Henline and the Bearcats. They're in a hurry-up offense. Look at this, the little sugar huddle, and they're moving the ball right down the field. They'll take their time. They've got Bearcats a little bit on their heels here. He's got Colter split out wide. He's got two to the left. He's got a single setback. He gets the ball, looks across the field, steps up in the pocket. He's under heavy pressure, and oh. Parker Krim takes him down. Now you see, partner, why they're raving about that kid. <laughs> and if I'm Henline, I wouldn't be ducking so many times because that's <laughs> oh, twice now that Krim's tried to take your head with him. Oh, boy, get used to the name, Lionel Land. Parker Krim is a star in the making. He is a stud out there. There's no doubt about it. Love to see the next generation of players coming up. And, boy, <laughs> Eli is in good hands. Yeah, you throw out Mario Wash out there along oh, with Krim. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they got some. Some freshmen are going to be four-year lettermen here. As Vince Cozy used to say, they got some players. Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> oh, we got another flag coming down. Looks like a false start by the Bearcats. And uh, two steps up, one step backwards. The Bearcats got to get it together here. Nice little drive going on. 466 to go here in the second quarter. So a false start on the offensive line. And really, it's been a fairly clean game for yeah, the first yeah. game. All the penalties, though, have been on the Spencerville side. You know, I don't think Elida has a penalty yet. And here's the other thing, too. You, you look at first games, such as basketball and football. In basketball, your, your shooting's a little off. Your, your ball handling's a little off. In football, it's your skill position. I haven't seen mm -hmm. that tonight. Nope. These guys look mid-season form. Yep, they do. <laughs> they do. Really, all both both sides look mid-season. Oh, and a bad snap. And Headline's trying to recover, and he's going to take a loss, a big loss. Wow, that's going to put it back at third and about 35. Well, they've been living dangerously all night long. They sure have. You know, a lot of the, the hikes back to uh, inline have been high. He's had to pull them down. That one there just, you know, too high over his head. Yeah, third and 34 from the 50-yard line. And uh, two plays in a row, they've taken a loss there. So here comes Henline. He's in the gun. He's got trips. I'm sorry, two to the left, two to the right. He's got a single setback. He'll get the snap. He looks across the field, throws a little bubble screen to the right side. This is Ooh. number two for the dogs, Rocky Nate Colter for the Bearcats, excuse me. And, boy, Colter, they've used a lot of him. Tonight. That'll put him at fourth down. So I'm sure they're going to punt the ball here. And they'll have Henline, looks like Henline in the back in punt formation. Well, you see Brady Kirk on that, on that tackle along with, I think it was Torrey Thomas. Back to They've the got Bearcats David Etzcorn the back deep. And brother, I'm going to tell you what, David Etzcorn gets a little bit of a window. He, he's going to scoot through there. He's exciting to watch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we saw the speed that Brady Kirk has from his fullback position. <laughs> fullback. What, what? Yeah. He's the fastest fullback I've ever seen. I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Henline really had a problem with that. Oh. And he took a hard hit from number 55. Uh, I don't – well, I – I'm trying. Yeah, I mean, there was no block on the punt. No. And he's a he's a live player, but something didn't look right about that. No, it did. <laughs> but it, we're playing on. So. Absolutely. So. Yeah, that was Tory Thomas in there. You're on yeah. the putting the pressure on the punter. And we've talked so much about Parker Krim. We've talked a lot about Tory Thomas, the four-year starter, the anchor of that defensive and offensive line, and he's just a uh, a stud up there for the Bulldogs. Oh, he said, you know. The WPL has got to be on alert right now when it comes to Elida because they're skilled players that they got out there. That massive offensive <laughs> and defensive line they've got out there. You know, you got guys coming in there and just, you know, from the freshmen on up to the seniors, they're just playing their hearts out. So here comes Henderson and the Bulldogs. Larkin Henderson, who's scored twice on his own tonight, throwing a couple passes, and he gets a little bubble screen out to the right side. Nice job of the Bearcats for about a loss of two yards. So uh, that's as bad a player as the Bulldogs has had all night, or bad as play as the Bulldogs have had all night. Well, and, you know, if you can hold it light and keep him back here and force him to punt, you're going to have some decent punt and field position for the yeah. Spencerville. And what would have been important for Spencerville, Dar, is if they would have scored there, mm -hmm. they get the ball right back in the second half. Could have right. been a momentum changer. And, you know, you score at the, set, the first half, you get another one, and it's 28-14, but now you're looking at if Elida somehow puts another one on the board, you're down 35. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got to hold it light right here. You know, 229 left here in the first half. So Elida just going to take their time and uh, no hurry in this offense. And it uh, looks like they're going to take a timeout. With 2.22 to go, the Bulldogs lead 28 to nothing. We're watching high school football on WOSN.
Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Web Insurance, serving Lima and Allen County for over 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Dar, we take a look at the game, or not the game last year, but the season for the Elida Bulldogs. The Bulldogs lose the last four games of the year. You think, you know, coming into this season, momentum wouldn't be that high, but my goodness, what a great job by this coaching staff of getting these kids ready. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, and it all centers around your quarterback and, your, and oh. you know, it had to be discouraging for sure. Henderson in those last four games of the season. And he had a lot of time to think about it all <laughs> Absolutely. winter long. Absolutely. You know, to come back and stuff. But their practices must have been really intense. Because Absolutely. And a lot of time spent with the skilled players. Henderson throws the ball down the right side. He's got Ed oh, Scorn. Did you my. see that? <laughs> right past Nate Colder. David Edscorn with a circus catch. Watch this catch down the sideline. And did, did he say he stayed in bounds? Maybe he did not. Oh, they're calling it incomplete. Let's take a look on the play. It looked like he brought the pass in. Let's see here. Oh, just knocked it out. Well, he caught it, but he was out of bounds maybe is what they're saying. Close play. Close play. Wow. That was a tough pass. You're getting sure past was. Nate Colder. He's not a small guy out there. So Henderson's in the backfield in the shotgun. He's got two to the left, one to the right, and he's got a single set back. He takes the snap, looks across the field, under some pressure, throws it out to the right side, picked oh, off, pick. and a big-time play by number 35 for the Bearcats. That's Blake Summers, and I'm telling you, brother, they needed that in the worst way. They certainly did. And I'll tell you what, Blake Summers is six foot five, and yep. you're not going to throw it over his head. No, so. not at all. And I'll tell you, partner, they, they, it looks like they could have. It might have been a late hit here. Let's watch this play. Oh, you saw what happened. Henderson's hand or arm got hit, and it affected the play. And let's take a look here. And he's out of bounds. Oh, no, I'd say he's still in bounds. So good call by the officials. So big-time opportunity here for the Bearcats with 2.08 to go. Josh Henline and crew need to put some points on the board. And we talked about that. If they can go in and score and they get the ball back yeah, in absolutely. the second half. Here come the Bearcats, Henline in the gun. He looks to the left, looks to the right, looks across the middle. He's got a man. Oh, oh picked off. Number 22. Brady Kirk. Brady Kirk up the left side and just a bad read by Henline. And an opportunity again. That's the third mistake they made tonight, taking the ball into the end zone. Yep. He tried to go right over the middle and that you know, Brady Kirk playing that middle linebacker yeah. position was right there. You, you want to talk about Kirk knowing his role in pass coverage. Yeah. He's sitting back there in center field and just does a great job of waiting for the ball. Boy, everything coming up roses for the dogs right now. Well, and give credit to the defensive line there for uh, Elida, too, because they put pressure in. You get, Henline, even though they didn't get to him, felt that the guy's coming at him, you know, and he had to get rid of the ball. And, just a little bit short right into Kirk's hands. And, and you look at the game plan here, Dar, and, and really they've taken Dylan Cook from Spencerville kind of out of it because it's not a smash-mouth game. Mm -hmm. They're spreading the ball everywhere. They are mixing some run-up, but they're just so quick. Yeah, absolutely. So here comes Henderson. He's got trips to the right. They're looking to put the ball in the end zone with 157 to go. He's got a single set back. He's got a tight end on the left side. He's going to roll to the right side. He looks to throw down the line, off to the right side. He's oh. got his man, David Etzcorn, and he pays the price, Dar. And he knew it, too. He, he did. He knew there was a guy right behind him that's going to hammer me as soon as I catch this ball. And he said, yeah. oh, that's all right. Ed's, I can handle it. Etzcorn's going to go back to the huddle and say, listen, get yeah. the ball down yeah. just a little bit. And <laughs> yeah, don't make me go up in the air for this thing because this guy's going to get me. Boy, watch this. He has got complete control of this offense. He knows where his guys are. Boom. And you can tell these, these guys at the receiver position have played a lot of pitch and catch with Henderson. Here's Henderson again in the gun. He looks to go down the left side. He's got a man oh out there, and he's goodness. got him wide open. Oh, my goodness. Number seven, Jackson Koval, the six-foot junior, makes the reception, and that puts the Bulldogs in the red zone. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling.com to schedule your free estimate. And I'll tell you what, Danny, even if Spencerville can hold them, you know, they Elias got Grant Hardman sitting over there. That's yes, four exactly, for four, exactly. you know, who that's can come great, in there and put three a, points on the board. That's a super point here. So first down with one. There's Henderson. He hands the ball. Oh, he faked the handoff, and he slips on the turf. That's the first time tonight the turf's been an issue there. So I think our clock is right. They said we had 181, but I'm going to go with 60. <laughs> I'm going to go with 54 seconds on the clock here. Yeah. I think we're going to score or a clock malfunction. The guys in the truck will have to see that. That was a 98. That was two, minute, two minutes and 89 seconds hey, a little while ago. But. They do a great job in the truck. We can't. Uh, 
40 seconds to go here. Bulldogs up 28-0. Henderson is in the gun at the 10-yard line. Bobbles the snap a little bit, picks it up. He's under real big-time pressure, makes the most of it, and gets back to about the 13, 12, 13-yard line, maybe the 14 uh, with 26 seconds to go. And curious if Elida will just let the clock run out. Well, I'm curious to see whether or not Hartman's got the, how much leg he's got because – they need one more play to get it in there to where he's. Well, this will be the last one, partner, because we're at 10 seconds. Oh, he spiked it. Oh, spikes the ball. Okay. Yep. All right. But that was third and 12. Now you're fourth down. And you got your kicker coming out. Okay. So a chance for the Bulldogs to work Maybe. on the kicking game. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Look, I'm just going to say it here. If, if I'm the Bulldogs, I'm up 28 nothing. I'm going to get to lose. Yeah. Just go go for it. Here's what I tell Henderson. You throw it into the end zone to your guy or throw it over his head. Yep. Nobody else. Yep. Nobody else. Remains third down. Ooh, so a little five-yard penalty action there. The Bulldogs incur. He must have moved before the snap was out is all I can think of there. So here come the Bulldogs with 10 seconds to go. Yeah, that took him out of field goal range too. 28-0. Yeah. So they'll start the clock. We're at 8, 7. Henderson spikes it again. That'll make it fourth down. So the last play did not count. So, we, yeah, I think we're going to get a field goal try. We are. All right. There's, there's Hardman coming out there. We, we don't get to talk about the kickers enough. We do yeah. not get to talk about the kickers. Well, this is, you know, and this is perfect. Like you said, you're up 28 yeah. to nothing. You bring this kid out. You see how much leg he has. Uh, you know, this is building for future games, too. 24-yarder. So, 34-yard attempt here. Yeah. Nice job. Let's see what he can do. From 34 yards out with six seconds to go. Snap is back. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is up and good. Wow. Plenty of leg. Had a low trajectory, but it went through the uprights. And wow, with one second to go until halftime, <laughs> the Elida Bulldogs lead the Spencerville Bearcats 31 to nothing. I am absolutely shocked, partner, at the outcome of this first half. I am too. And, you know, I'm sure Spencerville, and the, well, you, we're on the Spencerville side here. Yeah, it's been real quiet over here. But uh, I'm sure they're really shocked at what's absolutely. going on out there. Take a look at some upcoming broadcasts. Sunday at 7, Delphus St. John's and Delphus Jefferson. Battle for Delphus. And you've got the Wren Wiffle Ball Tournament Monday at 9. Ottawa Glendorf Lipstick Volleyball Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Next week on, on WSN, Ottawa Glendorf Wapakoneta Football. That's always a great match in the WBL. Friday at 10, Macomb and Marion Local. What a what a showdown Ooh. that'll be. And Bath and Shawnee Sunday or Saturday at 6.30. So some great football action here, volleyball action, wiffle ball action. We got it all, partner. Hey. Yeah, that Macomb Marion Local game. Hey, look, last year that was a 10-0 game, and Macomb didn't have their starting quarterback. We yep. talked about that game. Yep. Yeah. Two great coaches going against each other. Oh, game, my goodness. Too. Chris Algie. From Macomb. Spencerville trying to break this one apart, try to get up the sideline, take it out of bounds. And that's how we'll end. After one half of play from Spencerville High School, the Elida Bulldogs lead the Spencerville Bearcats 31 to nothing. We'll be back right after these messages with some halftime adjustments. You're watching high school sports on WLST. Welcome back to Spencerville High School. Our halftime adjustments are brought to you by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss, where they offer area residents good health through chiropractic care. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Partner, let's like, take a look at each team, uh, obviously, for Elida. Not a lot of adjustments, but uh, you still want to play hard. Well, yeah, and the biggest thing for Elida right now is don't lull yourself into sleep. I mean, you know, you're up 31 to nothing, but you still got a whole hot, another half to play. And you, you still have an explosive team on the other side in Spencerville, you know. So you got you got to keep on your toes. You got to play your hard for the next two quarters as well. I mean, you look at Spencerville. Uh, there's a lot of adjustments I can see <laughs> for Spencerville. One of them is, is you got to tighten up your defensive backfield. You know, you got to shut down these uh, lighter receivers. The other thing is, is you got to figure out a way to get in there and put a little more pressure on Henderson. You can't let him sit back here in the pocket and just pick you apart. You know, the problem with getting in on Henderson. If he doesn't throw the ball, he runs the ball. So, you know, you, you, you've got a dual-threat quarterback back there who can hurt you in, a, in so many different ways. So, yeah. Spencerville, too, has got to keep in mind, too, they have a whole other half to play, too. Absolutely. You know, you're down 31 to nothing, but, you know, you can put some points on the board. This, you know, this is the first game of the season. You can't let it affect you the rest of the season. you got to go out there and play hard. 
for the next uh, two quarters. So Spencerville will get the ball back down 31 to nothing. And, and yeah, partner, I completely agree. Let, if you're Spencerville, I'm sure Coach Summers said, listen, we're, we're going to go out there 0-0. Zero, zero. We're going to move the ball, just see what happens. We'll get a few turnovers, and, and if things can go right, look, they're capable. We saw what they can do on offense. Offensively, Josh Henline slings the ball down the field. They've got really good skill position players. Right now they're just being – Really, it's just a real problem on defense right now. Yeah, and and one of the other problems with Spencerville is having right now is it, it, the interchange between center and quarterback yes, yes, has been absolutely. shaky. It's a great and call, that, and that really has hurt them as far as getting any kind of momentum going on their offense as well. You know, and any kind of rhythm, and that's big when you're you know talking about your quarterback because he's got to have time back here. You know, a lot of his passes, he's just grabbed the ball and flung it. I mean, he, he hasn't had time to really think about it. So they've got to sew up a little bit of that stuff. Some of the penalties, yeah, you're going to have that first game. Uh, surprisingly, Elida hasn't had any that I know of. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's a couple things you got to do. Elida will kick deep to Spencerville. They'll take the ball at about the five-yard line, bring it up to about the 22-yard line. That's where they'll start on first down. So it's been all Elida in the first half here, leading 31 to nothing. Continue beautiful night here as the sun's going down and uh, it's getting kind of cool out here. Yeah, I I'm felt a breeze. Yeah. Say, <laughs> a second ago, I thought, what, what is that? Bring, bring it on. Bring it, it on. It was uh, sweltering here in the booth <laughs> earlier. Danny Holbrook, Dar Never Golf from Spencerville High School, and it's uh, it's getting cooler and uh, a little bit of optimism here for the second half for the Bearcats. Josh Henline will bring him back out. <laughs> Look, he's had a nice first half other than the uh, few interceptions and, uh, you know, some bad plays, but it's his first start in three years. Yeah, and, and you know he's hit, hit his receivers. They they also have been mixing in a few other receivers besides just Nate Colder, right, which is right. important for them on offense as well. So so there goes Colder in motion in the backfield. They'll hand the ball off off to the left side. That's number 26 for the Bearcats, Carter Lehman. He gets about a yard and a half. That'll bring up second down. Yeah, David Eckstein on Eckhorn in on the uh, tackle was along with Tory Thomas and. Yeah. I don't think I want Torrey Thomas falling on me too many <laughs> no, times I tonight. I think you're right. That is a fantastic defensive line right now for the Bulldogs. They've played sensational. Here's Henline in the gun. He's got a single set back to the left, to the right. He looks over the field, throws across the middle. He's got his man out there, finds him on the left side. He's going to get a first down. That's number four for the Bearcats, Grant Duty, who's had a real nice night tonight. That's a first down, and that's a Citizens National Bank first down. They are our sponsor tonight. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time. CMBOhio.com. It's got to feel good for the Bearcats, Star. Well, that play's really been effective it for them all night yep. long. If it's, it's not colder point. out there, it's duty out there making that catch. They just haven't been able to break it yet for a really long game. That's a great point. So here comes Henline in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. Single setback. Looks across to Coach Summers. Waits for the play. Checks his wristband. He's in the gun. Takes the snap. Looks across the field. Steps up in the pocket. Krim almost had him down, throws deep down the left side. He's got his man out there. Oh, oh. my goodness. He had number seven, Carter yeah, Orr, behind the defensive back, Orr, and he just underthrew it. But, my goodness, Krim was all over him. Oh, yeah, the pair of sevens out there, too. Jackson <laughs> yeah. Cobalt in on the defensive side for Elida. But uh, Henley made a nice throw down there. That's a, that's a little bit of distance down there. He put the ball in the air. I'm not kidding you, Torrey Thomas and Parker Krim are on every play in that backfield. They are just outstanding right now. And, and Spencerville hasn't found an answer for them. They right. haven't been able to find a way of yeah. either trapping them out of there, exactly. keeping them from coming in there and putting pressure on. So here comes Henline the gun. He'll hand off, off to the left side, tries to get a few yards, get back up to the line of scrimmage where he'll be taken down hard. That's number 26 for the Bearcats, Carter, Carter Lehman. Lehman. The Bearcats. Doesn't get much of a game. That'll bring up uh, third through. down for the Bearcats. And I noticed, too, on that play right there, Danny, if you watch Krim, he's a freshman, but he stayed home on <laughs> Only that play. Only in grade level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, he knew his position. He didn't go yeah. after pursuit. When the ball went over the opposite yep. side of him, he was still standing there in case it came back his way. He had his, you know, he knew exactly where he was supposed to be. It's got to be a tough assignment for a freshman starting your first game against a spread offense and yeah. you're a pass rusher. Yeah. My goodness. So here comes Henline, gets it out to the left side got his man to the left and a host of Bulldogs are going to meet him about a gain of about four that's going to bring up fourth down and uh, I, I don't know if you make that call here on fourth down or not <laughs> I think it's still a little bit early yeah, I, I don't think you want to give it light of this kind of field position this early you're but, absolutely right you know, I, I'm not coaching it I got, I'm just I'm <laughs> just up here saying it that's you right. know. 
That was a nice play by Luke Burkholder out there on the tackle too, you know, so. hanging on to him, not letting him get any more yardage. So uh, Elida will drop back number three. That's David Edscorn. We've seen him all night. He is Mr. Explosive. When he gets in the open space, he is a danger. So Henline will go back into pump formation, 8.14 to go here. Danny Hoberg, Dar never go from Spencerville High School. The dogs lead 31 to nothing. Snap is back and good. Henline, oh, it is blocked. blocked. It is blocked, and it rolls up to about the 46, 47 yard line. And oh my goodness, the ball is everywhere. And it looks like he lied to recover it. And that was a perfect opportunity for Spencerville. They just couldn't get on the ball. They, they couldn't. A nice scrum there and stuff, but there's like two or three guys there for Elida got in there on that ball. And surprise, surprise, Tory Thomas is on the ball. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sure who got the hand on that block there. It may have been a couple guys for Elida. Yeah. And just, the snap was good. They just had a heavy pass rush. Yeah, Look they at just this. swarmed right in there, just blowing right in there. My goodness. Uh, I think it was Brady Kirk. Yeah, I think you're right. And then yep. you see here if it touches the Elida player, which it does, and it's a free ball, and uh, Elida lucky to get that. So here come Larkin Henderson of the Bulldogs. What a first half he had. Threw two touchdown passes, ran for two, and uh, everything was working for that young man, the 5'10 senior, three-year starter. And uh, he's in the gun right now. He's got a man in motion. He's got one to the left, one to the right, and a single step back. He'll hand off to the back. Goes off the middle to the right side. Gets it through the oh, hole. Look out. Breaks up, and there's a fumble on the play. Picked up by the Bearcats. They'll bring it up the right side. Here come the Bearcats with the fumble, and they'll go out of bounds. Wow, what a turn of events. That was Dylan Short that scooped that ball up. And who was on the fumble? I wasn't. I don't know who hit Brady Kurt on that one there. Yeah. Brady had the and he was making the carry, but somebody hit him from really from behind, just kind of chopped it out of his hand. So, so here you see, ball carry goes up the right side, and he is uh, just yep. loses the handle on it. Yeah, he nice did. job by number ten, Dylan Short who's Johnny on the spot, picks it up, and he gives the Bearcats new life. So here comes Henline. He's got two to the right, two to the right. He's got a single step back. He looks over the defense, steps up in the pocket. He's under heavy pass rush. Here oh, comes Krim out, right on out. top of him. He's trying to get away from Torrey Thomas, and he is taken down, and the ball goes out of bounds, and he was hit hard by Etzcorn. <laughs> My goodness, David Etzcorn. We're talking Krim. We're talking Thomas, and here comes Etzcorn. Well, it's, it's almost illegal, I think. <laughs> you know, when you're being chased by Krim and Thomas, and then all of a sudden Escort comes out of nowhere and labels look, you Look, there. I know I'm raving a block. They look, they look like Big Ten pass rushers. Oh, they do. My they do. goodness. <laughs> and the speed on the Escort to be able to close in on that one, too. It's going to be a nightmare back there for Henline because he really has no place to run. My goodness, Henline's in the gun. He's got one to the left, two to the left. He'll hand off to the back, and he almost dropped the ball. And that's number 26 for the Bearcats, Carter Lehman. He kind of bobbled the ball a little bit, and that could have been disaster for the Cats. Yeah, you don't want to hand it right back over to Elida in this position right no, here. No, no, not at all. That'll bring up third down and eight on the 42 with 6.28 to go. And for two teams that sling the ball around, they're moving the ball up the field on the run. Well, I think right now Spencerville is just trying to establish themselves any way they can. Yeah. You know, you know, a third and eight, this is a big third sure. and eight play for Henline. Sure, here comes Henline. He's got a single set back, two to the left, two to the right. Gets the ball on the gun, looks over, goes to the left, rolls back, looks across the middle. He's got a man over there. It's picked oh, off, picked. picked off, brings the ball up the left side, and that's number seven, Josh Jackson Cobalt. That's Cobalt. the third interception tonight for Josh the Henley. Ball on the first down and 10. So that defensive pressure and making him move in the pocket and finding his man and just outstanding job of the dogs, and they get another turnover. And that's the big thing. Henline has not been able to sit back here and really find his receivers. He's had to throw on the run all night long. And the second part of it is, is the defensive backs for, for Elida are just playing outstanding. Yeah. So the dogs will take over. Cats turn the ball over again. Cats, dogs, week one <laughs> football. This is craziness in the state of Ohio. <laughs> If I were light at this point, I'd, I'd try to establish a, a little bit of a run game. I, I, I agree. I completely you know, agree, yeah. Work on, work on some fundamentals. Yeah, yeah work on yeah, some you've, things. You've got the rest of the season to go. You've got to be able to come up with something, but they're going to keep <laughs> slinging away. Well, partner, what do you know? They're going to sling the ball up the field. <laughs> Henderson said, forget the run game. I'm going to throw the ball, coach. <laughs> Larkin Henderson throws it about 50 yards in the air, and darn nice theory of working on the run game just went out the window. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, well, i got the whole season to go. Let's Let's, you know, 
ease up a little bit and, and, and try to work out something with our blocking or blocking <laughs> schemes and stuff. Oh, no, no, no. no. We're just going to throw it down the you, field. You know Kyle Harmon sitting over there going, you know what? This is what we do. We yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> that's right. Stop it if you can. If you can't, <laughs> me. that's the way it's, it goes. It's, it's going to be a problem for a lot of WBL schools. It year. certainly is. So here come the dogs. They lead 31 to nothing. Cameron Henderson, or I'm sorry, Larkin Henderson in the back. Fakes the handoff. He's taken up the middle, and that play's worked all night tonight. He gets a gain of about four yards, and that'll bring it up to about third and five. Yeah, that's the respect you see for Brady Kirk and for Henderson both because, you know, the fake to Kirk is going to pull somebody over there. Seam right there is going to yeah. come travel with him, and that's going to leave that opening for Henderson up you, the middle. You just see the confidence in Larkin Henderson, and you don't see that out of first-year quarterbacks. You know, I mean, special ones you do, don't get me wrong, but but he's a third-year quarterback, and nothing's rattled that kid tonight. Mm -hmm. he's, he's had plenty of time. When he hasn't had time, he's tucked it under. He knows where to go. He follows these blocks, and he trusts his uh, offensive linemen. Oh, absolutely. I trust him too. My oh, guys, so. my goodness, you're right. Henderson rolls to the right. He's looking downfield. He throws off his back foot. He's got a man out there for a first down, and that will be a first down. Let's see who made that catch. Is that 83 again? Yep. Keen Hawking over there. Nice job by Hockey. We had a change in the number tonight. That's why I keep having trouble when Keaton catches the ball out there, and he's had a really nice game. But that's another first down. Our first down sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time. CMBOhio.com. Well, they list Hockey as a wide receiver, but, he, <laughs> man, he plays like a tight end. He, I'll tell you he, what. Is, he is a big kid, yep. You're He's right, got though. sure hands out there, too. So now they've got trips to the left. They've got a single set back. They're going to step a receiver back. And a great play oh. by Spencerville. Uh, who is that on the hit? That's number three. That's Josh Henline. Great job of recognizing what they were going to do. You see that all the time in big-time football where they have three on one side and they'll step one back and two out the block. Henline said, nah, not this time. Yeah, good adjustment there by Spencerville. Yeah, just wrapped him up right there. The quarterback does a nice job. So second and 12 from the 32, 3.15 to go. And boy, the third quarter has just flown along, partner. Yeah, that is. Wow. <laughs> Here comes I Larkin. didn't even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't notice that, did you? No, I didn't. Larkin Henderson hands the ball off to number 22, and that's Brady Kirk, and he is Brady bottled Kirk up. So that will put us under the three-minute mark. Second, I'm 32, sorry, third Brady and Summers. about 13 from the 33. Dogs lead 31 nothing. Danny Holbrook, Dar never go. Week one of the Ohio high school football season. Partner, we got a long season to go. And listen, by the end of the year, we're going to be freezing. <laughs> I don't, no, shh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah, we got a bottle a little bit right. of this heat. You know? <laughs> now, if they, now, if they get us in good press box like this, we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really nice press box. So. Yeah, there's a few of them out there. Absolutely. Is. So Henderson's in the gun. He's got trips to the right. He rolls, but Brady Kirk's blocking for him. He steps on his back foot, throws a little high, and that's going to go out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. You just wonder what the dogs are going to do here at 4th and 13 from the 33. Kind of too close to punt. I don't know if the kicker's got a strong enough leg. Let's see what they do here. I don't know. Did you give him an opportunity? You know? uh, yeah. You, you, let's see what they do here because now you're wondering, are eh, we you know, up 31 nothing, going for it on 4th down? You know, what, What's the thought here from the other side of the field? Well, the kicker's not out there. No, so. and they are going to go for it. Fourth and 13, and, and really what, I, what I'm saying is that there's not a lot of room to punt the ball. So, no. you know, and if they don't feel strong enough about their kicker, then this is the right call. So, Henderson in the gun. He looks across. He fires down the left side. He's got his man out oh, there. nice catch. And that is, it looks like it's going to be short dar from about three or four yards. They're going to fall short, and then Spencerville will take over. Nice catch by Jackson Kovalt out there. Yeah. Or did he get the first down? No, they're going to say Spencerville is going to take over on downs, it looks like to me. Yeah, you had to turn around and, and come back to that ball and pick it up nice. out of the air. Oh, so Nice nice pitch and catch there. And that's the only place he could have put it. And uh, what a great job. So 132 to go. Spencerville will take over on downs. They're down 31 nothing. Go ahead, excuse me. I'll tell you what, Danny. One of the things that this game has been field position, too, yes. and Spencerville has just not had it. They've started about every one of their drives in you know inside the 20-yard line. Spencer will hand the ball off to the left side. They'll get up a gain of about six yards. Carter nice, Lehman tough Lehman run Lehman. by Carter Lehman there. He'll the go to the middle of that Lehman. field. Lehman. They'll take over second and four, a six-yard gain. And we are just coming to the one-minute mark here in the third quarter, so a quick third quarter. Nobody Lehman. scored Lehman. here in the third Lehman. quarter. Both teams kind of working on some things here. With uh, I don't want to say the game's not in doubt, but 31-0. Uh, 
we, we certainly want you to stay on the broadcast and watch all the action here on WSN. Henline goes back and he hands the ball off. It's number 22 as he wiggles and waggles through the line Carter there. The Carter Lehman. That'll be a first down for Spencer. First, first down sponsor tonight is Citizens Not National Bank. See how, me re see how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cmbohio.com. Citizens National Bank is our first down sponsor. So is week one all you wanted, Dar, first week? It's been, it's been a, <laughs> We've got to see some an action, interesting game. It's that. been something I really didn't expect. I expected a closer game, I did. maybe I, in the yep. 20s or that type of yeah. thing. Headline hands the ball off. That will probably be the last play of the third quarter. And the Bulldogs will stifle any momentum there. Number seven, Carter Orr, and that'll bring the back. third quarter to a close. Stop After three Michael quarters Bulldogs. from Spencerville High School, the Elida Bulldogs continue to dominate 31-0 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Tonight's first down sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building boots. One relationship at a high. CMBOhio.com. Citizens National Bank is our first down sponsor. And the Bulldogs have planned plenty of first downs tonight, so uh, the sponsor's getting their work out. Yeah, that was kind of a quiet third quarter. Sure was, yeah. Sure was. So here come the uh, Bearcats. And, uh, you know, that, 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 that's the right call, but, boy, you, you see the young man for your life held up. Yeah, he, he, did. he, he really he did. did. He tried to hold on to him. And, uh, oh boy, this could be uh, a uh, injury here for the Bulldogs here. Who is that down on the field? And I'm you, uh, not sure. You hope it's maybe just a cramp? Let's see who that is. Which would not surprise me at this point. Yeah, we, we have not uh, seen the uh, cramps come out yet tonight. So. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Is that Torrey Thomas on the field? Yeah, it looks like it's a cramp. They're we adjusting his foot there. The first foul is holding on the offense, number 50. The second foul is on the defense. All right, we got a young man down on the field. We're going to take a break and let them attend to him. We're watching high school football. WOS. Exciting news for both teams' respective schools. For Elida, the second year of LifeWise begins next Thursday, August 25th, and it is expanding to the fifth grade class. For Spencerville, year long, one launches soon. You can get a sneak preview tomorrow morning, August 20th, at an open house breakfast. The community is invited to 103 North Broadway beginning at 9 a.m. You can go to each school's respective Facebook page to find out more information. And you uh, identified the player that was down on the ground? Yeah, that was Torrey Thomas. And it looked like a cramp, and he's coming off the field kind of – yeah, straight leg in that leg. Yeah, you can. It's exactly how I walk when I get a cramp. Yeah. You can really see that. So we hope that uh, Tory uh, recovers there with the cramp. So Henline is under the gun there, or under the center. He's got two in the backfield in the power eye formation. He's going to step back. He's got a man down the right side. He looks out down there, and they've got a connection. Oh, wow. wow. Nice pass. Nice pitch and catch. And that looks like we can get a read on that one. Josh pass complete for number Nate two, Coulter. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Nate Coulter and Josh Henline hooking up. I'll tell you what, that was a great pass right over the shoulder sure of the defensive back right into the Nate Coulter's hands. Yeah. And great concentration by Coulter, too, just to keep his eye on the ball the whole time. And, and partner, I, I just figured it out, and I didn't say nothing in the third quarter. That's a running clock. Yeah. Because and I didn't mention that, and we both sitting here going, boy, that went fast. Well, the, yeah, stupid and dummy, that's because it's a running clock. <laughs> and I wasn't even paying attention to <laughs> when, when you said that, you said, boy, that was quick. And I thought, oh, hang on just a second. got to talk to our audience about that. <laughs> oh, they got it. He pulled a penalty on yeah, Spencerville. Yeah, like a false start on Spencerville. Again, that was great concentration by Nate Coulter, which just shows, that, you know, that, you know, that young man's athletic ability to yeah. see. He watched that ball the whole Absolutely. way in there, even with the defensive back hanging all over. This him. is going to be a competitive team in the Northwest Conference. Let's not oh, kid ourselves. Will. They it really will. will. So there's the pitch back. Try to get to the middle mm. of the field. And that's number 26 for the Bearcats. Carter Lehman as he is taken down hard by the Bulldog Carter defense. The Look, Brady Kurt flying the in there from his linebacker two, position. Dar, we got about 10 minutes to go in this game. When when do you, as the as the Bulldog mentor, when do you start – Pulling kids out and getting other kids in. I mean, the you know thirty-one nothing. Do you, do you go about the six-minute mark? I know you want to get your work. I know you want to get your kids' time in, but you, you want to avoid injuries. That's yeah. Question. You definitely want to avoid injuries. And, and the longer this game goes, you got your starters in there. That you see cramping by Tillery Thomas. Yeah. That's going to start building up on them too. So yeah, you you know I I, I think you're right, Danny. About the six-minute mark, yeah. maybe yeah. five-minute mark, you start pulling them out, put some other guys in there. 
What if you're lighter, you're going to put freshman in there? What are you going to do? <laughs> I was going to say, here's Henline. He's back at the gun. He finds one way deep in the end zone. He overthrows the man. You're right. They, every freshman's played yeah. tonight, and they have just got a loaded roster of underclassmen. I think that was the exact same play that just for right. Colder. So this time, I think, you know, number four for uh, Elida, that was Ty Tyler Carter, got his hand on that one and knocked it away. Carter goes, yeah, you burnt me once. You're not going to do it I'm again. You're not going to do it again. I won't let it happen. So. Great job by our crew tonight. Wayne Getz, the director, and Derek Henry, and Jacob O'Neill, and Seth Hangerer, and Camden Pauf, and Caitlin Henderson. What a what a great job by our whole crew tonight. They've done a great job of bringing this game. Oh, yeah, and great on the replays and stuff. Oh, yeah. Mean. Yep. So we got another timeout on the field with 9.04 to go here in the fourth quarter. The Atlanta Bulldogs lead the Spencerville Bearcats 31 to nothing. We won high school. Tonight's instant replay is sponsored by Charles River here in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Charles River is our replay sponsor. So here come the Bearcats. It's third and 16 on the 27, trying so desperately to put one in the end zone here. Henline in the gun. He looks across the field, throws across the middle. He's got his man out there, but he is taken down immediately for uh, not, not a lot of gain there, Dar, right about to the uh, – Line of scrimmage, headline had dropped back about six steps, and he uh, found his man right there at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it looked like Nate Colter again cutting across this time. Nate's been running a lot of out, you know, <laughs> Nate's been running a lot tonight, <laughs> yeah. This time they said, okay, we'll put you right across the yeah. middle. So fourth and 12, and obviously they're going to go for it here with 8.35 to go, down 31 nothing. Henline's got trips to the right. He's got Nate Colter to the left, and let's see if he doesn't get Colter isolated on the left side of the uh, on this play here. He looks across and goes opposite field. They got their guy, and they're going to pick up the first. Well, I thought they were going to pick up the What a oh. form tackle. Look, they, I thought they had that all sewn up. And number four from Elida, that's Tyler Carter, comes up and just hits him hard. Well, that's a three-year you know, three starter out there in Tyler Carter, and he's showing why. You know, he broke up that pass to Coulter in the end zone. I thought he was going to walk to the first down marker. Look at this, and he just – that that's just a great tackle. That's, that's a great, great tackle. Great open field tackle right yeah. there. Kept his head up the whole time, yep. saw his man, and does a great job. So, Elida will take over on downs. They'll take over from about the 13-yard line. Danny Hobart, Dar never gone from Spencerville High School. High school football brought to you by WOSN, our entire crew here for week one of the high school season. We'll be here with you every week. Fridays, Saturdays, Thursdays, whatever nights you're playing <laughs> football, we got you, brother. Try to run the ball up the middle. Number four, Clock Tyler continues Carter to run. The run for the Outside of a time timeout, I think if uh, you like to pull off a first down in this drive here, that will pretty much wrap it pretty up. Pretty much seal it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, and I don't think they're going to go across the middle much. I think they're going to keep the ball on the ground. And, and uh, of course, we've been wrong about 14 times tonight. Oh, that's so, true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we're batting 1,000 a, a on our wrong predictions. So. But it is week one, people. Give us right. That's right. That's right. We'll predict better than Alex Henderson. He throws off to the right side. You got a man out there for a gain of about seven yards. They'll bring it up to about third and three from about the 18-yard line. Only oh, across the 20, in my fault. There go about the 22-yard line. And on the stop for the Bearcats, number three, Josh Henline. Well, both team, both coaches are going to take away from this one here. You know. Uh, things they need to work on. Sure. I mean, Elida looks like they've been invincible the whole night long, but there are things they can, you know, need to work on a little bit more, establishing you know, some run game a little bit, you know, uh, that type of thing. You know, and then Spencerville, they, you know, they definitely got some things they want to, you know, sew up and try to figure out their offense a little bit more, kind of mix that spread offense in with their running game. Right, absolutely. Henderson, the high snap there, and he takes it up the middle and looks like he's going to pick up another first down. Number five, Larkin Henderson. Be another ball. Citizens National back in first down. The Building stop, businesses one relationship at a time. CNBOhio.com. Stick around after the game, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have the Stolly Hustle Award winner. I've got an idea who I'm voting for. I'm mm -hmm. sure you probably think the same way. We'll see how that uh, voting goes on. <laughs> 
two votes in the broadcast booth. So. Hey, that's <laughs> you, you can break all ties. <laughs> yep, I'll break the tie. I, I would let our camera person break the tie. That's right. <laughs> let the camera guys and girls get into the groove. So six minutes, we're under the six-minute mark here. Elida leads 31-0. Henderson in the gun. Hands the ball off, and they'll go to the left side, trying to move up the sideline. He's taken out of bounds. That's number three, number three for the Bulldogs, David Edscorn. They just, they've got so many weapons. They, they just keep coming at you, and they, they got speed. And, and I don't know how many points they would have had to score tonight with that defense. I mean, they, oh, yeah. they, they, you know, yeah. they scored 31, and they didn't have to, but good grief. I think uh, three scores would have been sufficient tonight the way they were playing. Yeah. But that's the first time Edscorn's carried the ball in quite some time. It is. Yeah, you're right. But Larkin Henderson has just been everything he's been advertised. He has been fantastic. The key for Larkin Henderson is don't get injured this yeah, season. Absolutely. He's going to roll off to his left. He's got his man wide open. Oh. Nice pitch and catch, and they'll try to go up the sideline. He's taken out of bounds by a host of Bearcats. That's number seven, three, Jackson number seven, Cobalt. Jackson, Jackson Cobalt. Cobalt, David Adscorn, Tyler Carter, Larkin four, Henderson, seven, Amari four, four. Walsh. They just keep coming. And if you're an Elida Bulldog fan, you got to be ecstatic about what you've seen tonight. You do. And, I mean, you know, his favorite target, of course, is Jackson Cobalt, which he was last year as well. But uh, he's mixed in Escorn. Uh, you know, and big number 83 out there, uh, Keaton Hockey has had a great game, you know, from his tight end position. Uh, but, uh, you know, just overall, you know, and, and if I got an offensive line <laughs> yeah. like that, I mean, you've got all the time in the world, and you can't give Henderson all the time in the world. So there's the handoff up to the left side. That's number four for the Dogs, Tyler number Carter. Four, We've called his name Carter quite a bit tonight. We are now at the 420 the tackle, mark. Number 50, Dylan. Cook. continues to lead 31 0. Danny Holbrook, Darn never go from Spencerville High School. Week one of the high school season. Be back next week, partner. We don't know where we're at next week. We, we nope. get, we'll get those assignments. We'll get yep. those assignments. And we, we go where they send us. I was going to say, we go where they send us, and I just love going wherever they tell me. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a great matchup tonight. I was excited when I saw I was working with you, and I was excited when I get to come to Spencerville and watch these two teams compete. It's a beautiful facility. Oh, too. isn't it nice? The, the turf is beautiful. I, I, I wish every high school could experience having the turf Number like this because it's, it's a clean line. game and, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just a beautiful two, facility. And it's a lot of money. And, uh, you know, those that don't have it, you know, they, they do what they can. But the, the schools that have it, it, it makes a difference. Oh, it certainly does. And a big positive from this game, too, maybe I'm saying it's premature, but there hasn't been any major injuries no, no, at all. No, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He had one cramping up, which we expected. Well, we expected Thomas, a lot but, more of that tonight. But I yeah. figured that would happen in the first half. Absolutely. So Henderson's still in the game. He's in the gun. They've got a man in motion. They've got one to the left, one to the right. they got a single setback. Henderson's going to hand off the ball and go off the left side. Gain of about two yards. He'll be taken down by a host of Spencerville four, Bearcats. Tyler That's number Carter four, Tyler Carter. That'll bring and us under the three-minute three mark. Number 26, Carter Lehman. We talk about up in your neck of the woods, and we talk about the Finley Trojans. My goodness, <laughs> two Division One prospects, maybe more, but uh, Luke Montgomery, the uh, Ohio State commit, and his brother Ryan Montgomery, who is pretty much going to have his pick of the litter yep. in a couple years. And, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're probably the premier program in the area. Yeah, and at halftime they were only up six. Yeah, I saw nine. that. Yeah, I saw oh. that. There's another handoff to Tyler Carter as he bounces through. Gets close to a first down. We'll have to see four, a third Tyler down Carter if he got the first the down. On the stop, Tyler the getting his work out. He sure is. And he is going to be short of a first down. That'll make it about, about two yards to go for a first down. So 2.14 to go. Dogs lead 31 to nothing. I'll tell you what, you talk about Finley, though. I mean, that's a tough, tough conference. Oh, my goodness. You know. So good. They, they have an opportunity this year putting six teams in the play, you know, in the playoffs. Yeah. And they lost a lot of skill position yeah. players. They lost some really good players. Lost a uh, young man that went to Finley to play basketball mm -hmm. and uh, some really good receivers. So, uh, we'll, but, but they, they, they reload up there. They got a lot of athletes and a lot of kids play football. So, and let's see what we got here. Foul on the play. False start in the offense. Another false 62. start there. So, Five clock down. continues to run. We're at a minute 30, 30 to go. If you were talking about great facilities, that Don L Stadium is oh. one of the premier around here. Lyman Senior has a great you know, Spartan oh, Stadium yeah, they as well. Sure do. Yeah, absolutely. 
we uh, we get to see a lot of great places week in and week out. So uh, one of the perks of the job. So here come the Bulldogs. They'll hand off to Tyler Carter as he goes off the left side, breaks a tackle oh, or two, my. gets a first down, but we're going to have a holding play right there on the first down. It looks like they're may, maybe a hold. Uh, we'll see. It was run, thrown yeah, right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, Danny, you look at Tyler Carter, and he's only 170 pounds, and he lowered his shoulder and just <laughs> wham right into that defensive this back. Here, yeah. you know, he, he didn't make any bones about this. No, he, he said, did not. Oh, boom, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I think he, I think Elida is going to get one more playoff here with that continuous clock at 26, 25. They don't even have to snap it now if they don't want to, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to let the clock run out. Let them take it down to 15. And they will not even stop the clock here. So week one is in the books, partner. The Elida Bulldogs come into Spencerville and get a big 31-0 victory. And really, they just jumped on them early. Yeah, the big plays, the big explosive plays, the things they, you know, like Kyle Harmon said he wanted to win at was the explosive plays. They did that tonight. And then they just played great defense from that point on. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Award winner. You're watching High School Football right here on WSN. Back here at Spencerville High School where the Elida Bulldogs come to town and get a big 31-0 victory. Coach, you got to be thrilled to death with the opening night performance. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, we went into the game, you know, we prepared hard. You know, our, de our defensive staff's been doing a great job. You know, that's two years in a row we've shut these guys out. You know, they're a good, sound, fundamental football team. You know, offensive staff, we put together a good game plan, and the kids went out and executed. Absolutely. Talk about the quarterback play from Larkin Henderson. Let's get him over here for a second. He's, he's on the side there. Just talk a little bit about Larkin and, and what he did for you guys tonight. You know, he's one of those guys, you know, he's, he's he started from day one since I've been here, you know, and he, he's had some gutty performances, you know, he's been through some injuries. So it was it was great for him to start with a, with a big game tonight. You know, he played lights out. Larkin, you, you could really see tonight three years of starting. You, your, your confidence was off the charts. Uh, it definitely was. You know, three years starting, that helped a lot. Um, you know, just coming in here, you know, we played him last year at home. 7-0 win wasn't, you know, the way we wanted to Not win. what you wanted. But, you know, <laughs> coming in here today, we, we definitely had a bigger chip on our shoulder. You know, we all – we all came in here wanting the same goal, and, and we got that. So uh, You were fantastic. Coach, uh, one more question here. You guys ended the year last year on a four-game losing streak, and, and Dar and I talked about it during the broadcast. You, you thought maybe the kids would hang their head a little bit, but they just came out fired up, and like you could see the hard work all winter. You know, we were sitting four and two last year going into those last four games. You know, we had a lot of injuries, and, you know, we played a lot of guys last year that stepped into starting roles tonight. You know, so it's one of those things. They weren't new to the Friday night lights. You know, they were acclimated to it, and, you know, we played lights out. Yeah. Well, congratulations to both of you. Let's bring Dar in here, and let's wrap this up. Larkin, you can stick around because uh, we're going to talk a little bit about you. Okay. Uh, Dar, this is our uh, Stolly player of the game, right? Hustle Award oh, winner. Absolutely. Nope. Yeah, I mean, just great game all the way around. I mean, you come out there, you, you can get on the board right off the bat again. And what we were worried about in the second half was, you know, would you guys lay and lay right, off a little right, bit? Right, but yep. uh, you didn't. I mean, you guys just played hard for four quarters. Uh, we did. We definitely did. You know, we came out red hot. You know, that was that was one of the best best starts we had in a, in a while. And uh, from there on, we just kept going up, and uh, we never looked back. You know, we came out in the second half. Our defense played lights out the whole game. Uh, they stepped up really big. Uh, kept a shutout the whole time. Our offense, we didn't. We didn't necessarily do exactly what we wanted to in the second quarter, but on the second half, but we uh, we we kept control of the ball. We uh, kept pace of the game, and we were able to keep them off the scoreboard. So, well, congratulations, young man. That's going to do it from Spencerville High School. The darn never gone our entire WSN crew. Thirty-one to nothing. The Bulldogs rock the Bearcats.